Well, when it comes to high school football, you'd be hard pressed to find another region of the country that takes it as seriously as we do here in East Texas. And our head coaches, well, they're as good as any. That includes Pine Tree head coach Carrie Lane, who just happens to be our Whataburger Coach of the Week. Our own Tina Wynn has the story. It's often our experience and the people we're surrounded by that help shape and mold us. For Carrie Lane, his time spent at Gilmore High School has greatly impacted him, particularly by one person. Matt Turner. He taught me so much my first year coaching at Gilmer. Um, I don't know if he was told to do it or if it's just who he is, but he kind of took me under his wing and we were up there every night late and he taught me how to plan a practice and how to coach details. And um, I used to be a guy that thought I was pretty sharp, that I could kind of keep it all in my head. And this job has taught me you better write it down. And I read a, a book once that said, if you don't apply something that you learn within a week, you lose it. And so I'm always trying to jot stuff down, write it down, do that. For Coach Lane, it's all in the details and the list. I'm always at practice with my script and I'm writing down. Maybe we, we didn't have good leverage on, on a block or maybe uh, I didn't think we spun the covers the right way or whatever, you know, whatever is going on with the play. I write it down and I bring it up with the coaches later and the kids. And so I would say I write that the most as far as like lists and office and stuff like that. I, most of it's just the daily organization of making sure everyone's where they're supposed to be, doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, my weekly itineraries, all the coaches make fun of me when they're down to the minute every day and where, where everybody's supposed to be and what everybody's supposed to be doing. And that's 100% of credit to just Matt, I think, Coach Turner's influence on me. Currently in his fourth season as the Pirates head coach, he strives to build his program off of five core values. The first thing was letting the kids know that they were cared about, that their, their performance on the field wasn't what their value was. And, uh, and I think that was... From coming, coaching a group of kids that have been through head coaches and been through people telling them they wanted to be here and then just to leave, I think the number one thing we had to develop was trust. And that, and that was the kids trusting us and letting us coach them, you know, and, um, and what we ask them to do is hard. It's hot and it's not natural to run into people. And, and so, uh, you know, I think that was the number one thing. I know it was. And then just trusting the community, you know. Um, when you when a parent drops their kid off with us at 7 o'clock in the morning and doesn't pick them up again until 7 or 8 o'clock at night, they got to trust that you have their kids' best interest in mind. And I think um, we, I really talked to the staff about it myself. I wanted to make sure these parents know that we know we're dealing with the most important thing in your life. And we, we're not taking that lightly. And so that was a big one. The, the, the next one was perfect effort. And that was something I got from Coach Trailer. And it was, you're never going to play perfect, but you can always have perfect effort. So it was perfect effort in the weight room. It was perfect effort on how we clean the locker room. It was perfect effort on having the right socks on. I mean, everything was just... I mean, it was just details, and so we just, we worked on those things first, and then we got into our, you know, phases of competing. Seasons will always come and go. However, it's the everyday impact that will often last a lifetime. And you get to not necessarily be a father to them, but you get to kind of teach them some of those lessons that you know they're going to need later in life. And when you see them sink in, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot more important than winning games. That's the best part. For Whataburger Coach of the Week, I'm Tina Wynn.